that is also the challenge that our U.S. electric power mix relies about 70% on coal and natural gas. And if we look going forward, we're going to hit the 83% greenhouse gas reduction by 2050. We're going to need to manage that. We need to manage that in two sectors. One is in the electrical sector, where we have about 70% carbon-based and 30% non-carbon-based, being wind, hydro, and uh, nuclear. So going forward, we need to deploy or get commercially ready for deployment carbon capture and sequestration by 2020 so that we can actually be building copies of carbon capture and sequestration plants in the 2020s so that they will be uh, wide, achieve widespread scale deployment by 2030. So this is critical for us going from a 70-30 mix to a 30-70 mix. The second thing that, that we've found is that if we do have comprehensive energy and climate legislation, it's pretty straightforward to decarbonize the electrical sector. We know how to do this. We need a bit of incentive, to, such as some of the things that we've done this year, which are loan guarantees, the nuclear and the Clean Coal Partnership Initiative that is uh, invested in North Dakota as well. But what we haven't learned yet how to do, and I think that we, again, have the biggest challenges in the transportation sector, because you can see from this slide that 28 quads of our energy in the transportation sector is petroleum-based, and only 1% comes from natural gas. So decarbonizing our transpor transportation sector is a challenge. We use 20% of the world's oil, and we only have 2% of the world's oil reserves. About uh, 2.4 billion in energy efficiency and renewable energy, so that would include wind, that would include solar and geothermal. Our grid technology here, this is uh, about 200 million, and that of course was complemented by almost 4 billion in the Recovery Act. Fossil energy focused on getting carbon capture and sequestration in part ready for commercialization by 2020, as well as some oil and gas. And then uh, nuclear energy. So this illustrates that what we have is a portfolio approach, because we need, as the Senator said, we need all sources of energy in order to uh, meet the demand and also our energy security goals. 